and let's get started. The Focus Ultrasound Foundation has been dedicated for 15 years to driving the global development and adoption of therapeutic focused ultrasound. It's a game-changing, non-invasive medical technology that could improve the lives of millions of people with a variety of serious medical disorders. Today, we're going to shine a spotlight on how Focus Ultrasound is taking on breast cancer. According to the National Cancer Institute, breast cancer is still the most common cancer among women in the United States. Nearly 13% of all women in the US will receive a breast cancer diagnosis at some point in their lifetime. That means there will be more than 275,000 new cases of breast cancer diagnosed this year alone. And there, of course, we all know that thanks to better prevention, better screening and better treatment, the mortality rate for breast cancer has gone down dramatically uh, over the last 30 or 35 years. But there will still be 42,000 breast cancer related deaths this year in the US. So as we look forward to a future free from cancer, new breakthroughs are needed. So today we're gonna to learn more about the potential for focus ultrasound to transform breast cancer treatments in the future. To lead our discussion today, I'm delighted to welcome my colleague, Dr. Suzanne LeBlanc, Focused Ultrasound Foundation's Director of Clinical Relationships. Susie is both an esteemed radiologist and also a researcher. She has performed hundreds of focused ultrasound treatments for uterine fibroids, and she also participated in key clinical trials leading to the FDA's approval of the use of focused ultrasound to treat pain from bone metastases. For the foundation, Susie now works with clinical practitioners in the focused ultrasound community to accelerate the adoption of the technology. I can tell you that no one is more passionate about the potential for focused ultrasound and breast cancer than Susie LeBlanc. Welcome, Susie. Thank you, thank you. And thank you all for taking the time to join us today to learn more about focused ultrasound and breast cancer. Uh, I'm always excited to talk about focused ultrasound, but especially when it deals with breast cancer as there is so much potential to really improve patient care. One. So let me start off the discussion uh, with this diagram, which displays the four mainstay treatment options for patients with cancer. So on the left here in blue, we see a scalpel representing surgery, right, which is commonly used. Uh, this symbol in pink is radiation. So again, commonly used for breast cancer. And the lime green here is a picture of a pill, which could be a chemotherapy pill or a, an immunotherapy pill. Um, and then in purple here is this pretty diagram, which likely represents some kind of immune cell. So some immunotherapy. So again, we've got surgery, radiation therapy, drugs, and immunotherapy. It turns out that focused ultrasound could likely impact and enhance and improve the use of all of these. And I'm gonna show you that in the next five to 10 minutes. We can replace or add to invasive surgeries or biopsies. We can replace or optimize the radiation therapy um, enhance the delivery of drugs to just the tumor and avoid systemic toxicity. And we can also enhance and activate our own innate immune, sy immune system to help us fight this disease. So let me get started in telling you about this. Some of you have already seen this video, but it's really um, telling on how focused ultrasound works. So I'm sure when you were young, you, you yourself or someone you knew went outside and took a magnifying glass out in the sun and all the sun's rays could be focused to a certain point on a leaf and actually make it catch on fire. Well, it turns out a focused ultrasound beam works in a very similar fashion. We can take all these ultrasound beams and make them converge at a focal spot. And where that beam meets, we can do a variety of therapeutic actions without damaging the tissue around it. So currently there are nine clinical trials using focused ultrasound to treat breast cancer. So we're very excited about the, the, um, 
the increased activity in this space. And it uses a variety of mechanisms of action of that focused ultrasound beam. And I'm gonna tell you about them. We use thermal ablation to kill focal tumors. We use targeted drug delivery to get more uh, drug into the tumor. We use immunomodulation to activate our immune system and radiation sensitization to use less radiation, but still get the desired result. Let's move forward one. Okay, so let's do thermal ablation first. We can non-invasively, using focused ultrasound, destroy a tumor by raising the temperature above 60 degrees Celsius. The advantages to this are that you don't need any hospitalization and you have a faster recovery. Because it's non-invasive, you have much decreased risk of infection or bleeding, and that's especially um, important during COVID where you don't need an operating room with sterile procedure or anything like that. And because there's no cutting of the skin, there's no skin scars or deformity. Again, that ultrasound beam just goes right into the tumor, heats it up to the point of ablation, similar to other methods of ablation that you may have heard about like RF ablation or even cooling ablation. Um, so how did that go back? Let's go back one. So this is a picture of an MRI scan. Uh, of a breast. On the left, it's before focused ultrasound, and on the right, it's after focused ultrasound. So this white enhancing mass here is a breast cancer, and that's before focused ultrasound. After focused ultrasound, you can see that it's no longer white. It no longer has blood flow. It's completely dead. And again, the surrounding tissue is left completely intact. The skin is intact. The other breast tissue is perfectly intact. So similar to the video that I showed you before, this is how the focused ultrasound works. So this is inside an MRI machine. So just like I showed you the picture of the breast tumor on the MRI, we look at the tumor on an MRI scan, shine that focused ultrasound beam directly into the tumor, heat it up at various locations, and we ablate the tumor. I'm gonna show you again. So the patient goes inside an imaging um, study like an MRI machine, and we direct that focused ultrasound beam directly into the tumor and kill it. Um, another method that we can attack breast cancer is with that targeted drug delivery. And again, this is really exciting. We can deliver medicine directly into the tumor, okay? Getting more drug into the tumor will hopefully increase the efficacy of the treatment and lead to more killing of the tumor. And this also results in less systemic side effects. And I'm sure we're all familiar with the fact that a lot of these chemotherapy agents or even immunotherapy agents can cause toxicity to the lungs and even the heart. So this is how it works. This blue circle here is a microbubble or a carrier. And inside of it, we can put a drug like a chemotherapy agent, which is so shown here in yellow. So we package that drug inside the microbubble, put it inside the IV pole and inject it into the body. Now, normally what would happen is a chemotherapy agent goes everywhere in the body, to the lungs, to the heart, to the tumor. But what we can do with focused ultrasound is we can shine that focused ultrasound beam directly into the tumor. Oh, so sorry, I left you there hanging. Directly into the tumor. And then that yellow drug is released from the microbubble right in the tumor. So you see the yellow drug here, but it's nowhere around it. It's only released into the tumor. So the higher drug concentration into the tumor causes it to shrink and you get less toxicity to the rest of the body. However, when we do that in the body, that's great. However, when we do that in the brain, it's a little bit more difficult because we have these blood vessels in the brain called the blood brain barrier, which normally prevents harmful substances from our body to get into the brain, that's good. But it also prevents medicine from getting across the blood brain barrier into the brain where we need it. So focused ultrasound over the past few years has been shown that we can safely and reversibly open this blood brain barrier to allow medicine to go through. And currently today, there is a clinical trial going on in Canada to administer medicine to HER2 positive breast cancer brain metastases. So I'm gonna show you how this works. In this diagram on the left, this is the blood brain barrier. And these cells are very tightly aligned and they're held together by like these rubber bands. So this purple dot here, which is the medicine, can't get through there normally to get into the brain parenchyma or the adjacent tumor. But what we're gonna do with focused ultrasound is we're gonna shine it in this area. These red microbubbles are gonna expand and contract, open these tight junctions and let the purple drugs go through. So let me show you what that looks like. 
the focused ultrasound beam comes down, the micro bubbles expand, it opens those tight junctions and lets the purple medicine through. And that's amazing because just like you saw with the other diagrams on the MRI of the breast, we're gonna take that MRI scan, look at where the brain metastasis is here shown in white. We're gonna direct that beam right there to open the blood brain barrier in the metastasis itself, get more drug to go directly into the tumor itself and not anywhere else in the brain. So that's really exciting work being done right now. So we've done targeted ablation to kill it. We've done targeted drug delivery, which is great. Another way we can affect breast cancer is through immunomodulation. So we can activate the patient's own immune system to attack these tumors. And I wanted to show you a diagram to kind of tell you how this is done. So on the left, uh, there's a tumor here and we're gonna shine that focused ultrasound beam right into it. And it's gonna release these antigens shown here in purple dots. And those antigens are very specific to the tumor. And when those antigens are released, it allows our own body to um, activate these cells called T cells, which can then find those antigens on the tumor cells and attack the tumor cell. So again, we use focused ultrasound to release these antigens, create these T cells to activate and go to the tumor to attack it. And that's amazing, but it may also do something else that's really important. And that's called the epscopal effect shown here. So let's say we do that focused ultrasound to the primary tumor here and the T cells that we're activating go back and find the antigens on that tumor and attack it. Those antigens are also on the metastatic foci. So we've shown in a few cases that even though we only give the focused ultrasound to that primary tumor, once those T cells know to find that antigen, it can find that antigen on metastatic foci and attack them as well and help treat those metastatic foci. So this is really exciting. So that's immunomodulation. So now what's very common in a lot of cancer therapies is to do combination therapy. So now we're gonna take that ability to do immunomodulation with focused ultrasound and get those T cells activated to the antigen. Sorry, let's go back one, I don't know why that moved. We're gonna have those T cells ready to get to those tumors with the antigen. And now we're gonna mix it with a medication. And I'm gonna tell you why that's important, okay? So we've got all these T cells now because we released the antigens. Normally, that T cell will go and find the tumor cell. And that's shown here. The tumor is in yellow and the T cell is in blue. And that antigen on the tumor cell is now gonna recognize that T cell and attach it to itself. So now we've got the T cell right next to the tumor ready to attack it. However, the tumor produces this substance called PDL1, which attaches to something on the T cell called PD1. And that attachment shown in blue here is actually a break. And that tumor, by engaging in that locking mechanism, doesn't allow the T cell to kill the tumor. So somehow we need to release this attachment so that T cell can do what it needs to do and kill the tumor. So we can give what's called a checkpoint inhibitor. It's a medication that attacks PD-1 in this um, lock mechanism here. So instead of it locking, we can put the medicine to block PD-1 or that medicine to block PDL one So when those two blue attachments don't meet, there's no break on the system. And that T cell recognizes the antigen on the tumor cell, releases all these harmful substances and starts to break the tumor apart. So again, the focused ultrasound can do two things here. It activates our T cells with response to the antigen and we give the medication to block the breaking mechanism and it can attack the tumor. So this is really exciting work. And the first in human clinical trial is going on with this combination of focused ultrasound and a checkpoint inhibitor at the University of Virginia right now when they're recruiting patients. So now the final way that focused ultrasound is currently being used is radiation sensitization. So instead of raising the temperature to 60 degrees Celsius and causing ablation, we're gonna just raise the temperature a little bit to like 40 or 45 degrees. And the advantage of this is twofold. Number one, we're gonna be able to use less radiation dose to kill the tumor. So we'll get less side effects from radiation like burns and scarring and fibrosis. And if we decrease the dose of radiation needed, if the tumor comes back and you need to give more radiation, the patient hasn't released their threshold of receiving radiation so they can get the radiation again. So let me show you how this works. Without focused ultrasound, you give let's say 30 grays of radiation to a tumor and it's shown to kill it right here. 
with focused ultrasound, you give a little bit of this focused ultrasound to the tumor and it primes it, which is shown here in yellow surrounding the tumor cells. It kind of gets these cells in an area that it's more amenable to accepting the radiation therapy. Then you only have to give 10 rays of radiation and it kills the tumor cells. So it's a radiation sensitizer. So this study is also going on right now and it's very exciting. So in conclusion, from this short amount of time that I really appreciate you listening to me, um, focused ultrasound is an early stage technology, but has the potential to really improve the treatment of breast cancer on multiple fronts. The foundation is working really hard to support a lot of preclinical research, which I haven't been able to talk to you about today, but all of that preclinical research helps us move into clinical trials. And I showed you two examples today of our first in human trials, combining FUS with an immunotherapy drug and fuss in opening the blood-brain barrier for brain metastases. So that's really exciting. And again, our purpose is to serve as the driver to really accelerate this clinical adoption and improve the patient care.